earlier today. More than 100 Gamecock football lettermen took place in an alumni game, and this was the moment of the game. 1942 All-American Lou Sossaman scored, spiked it, and shook a lot of hands. The first All-American in South Carolina football history, approaching his 74th birthday. Lou Sossaman is here. Shannon Spake is down there with him. You know, Bob, there are some interviews that are absolutely cooler than others, and this is definitely one of those. Sir, we just showed the highlights of your touchdown in the alumni game earlier. What was that like for you crossing that finish line, and, and, and where'd you get all that power for the spike? Well, I made one touchdown in professional football, and I did the same thing. I ran about 40 yards. <laughs> threw the ball down, ran over to the bench so all the players could congratulate me. Coach said, get back in there and center the ball. I had to go back and center the ball after I made the touchdown. I played center and linebacker, of course, here in Columbia. But I did read a story where you actually got yelled at by a coach one time for checking out a pretty young lady on the sideline. Can you tell me about that story? Well, it was my first varsity game. It, when I was playing football at university on this field, which freshmen could not play varsity football. So what I did, I had my eye on a young lady who was a cheerleader. And the coach, Rex Enright, called me over to the sideline. And he said, Lewis, you're supposed to be playing football, not watching the cheerleaders. And, of course, that woman turned out to be. She later became my wife. What a great story. And, of course, your wife, Kat, her father was a coach here at South Carolina. He was a coach, yeah. In the early years of uh, 1916, around that time, yeah. he was a medical doctor. He already coached football. And he enjoyed it so much. What, what a story. You've been part of this program for such a long time. Thank you, sir, so much for joining us. And congratulations on that touchdown. Well, thank you. I enjoyed doing that. It was a lot of fun. Thanks so much. This is a mighty nice occasion here for this. An honor to the boys. And I'm, my pleasure to have attended the University of South Carolina from a from standpoint of social life throughout my life and the education I received. But I... I'm very indebted to the university for what I can do to return that favor for me. Thanks so much, Coach. Back to you, Bob. All right, Shannon, thanks very much. I guess when you play center and linebacker, even if it takes you to your almost 74 years old, he's been waiting a long time to spike the football. <laughs> he did have a little extra oomph. But it wasn't a penalty back then, Bob. They didn't have all these crazy rules. You could actually have some fun after you scored. Connor Mitch has it knocked down at the line. And you want to talk about a guy that was pretty tough back in his day playing football? That's Lou Sossaman, upside down. He scored without a face mask back then. He scored without a face mask today. Not much difference. <laughs> Played three seasons with the New York Yankees as well. So in the And that wasn't in baseball, right? That's right.